Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I've got um, some gifts and a few bits that I've brought myself that I want to share with you. Um, <clears throat> when I do these videos it's predominantly the love and kindness that is shared through people in this community. And um, yeah, I don't think there's, well, I, don't, I just don't have the words to express how it, how it makes me feel. This set of Prismacolors, if you've watched my, if you've watched my videos, I've been using like stubby little pencils like this. Um, and this beautiful lady from Canada, uh, I, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, Lamia, sent me this set at Christmas time and um, it arrived a few weeks ago. This whole 150 set of Prismacolor pencils, I just, you know, the generosity and love that people have is just incredible. They were packaged so beautifully um, and they arrived in pristine condition, as you can see, and I'm just so overwhelmed with the love and kindness. So at least, <laughs> Lamia, when you're watching a video or when you guys are watching me film now, I'll be able to tell you what the colour is instead of just the colour number. Included in that, this wonderful gift, if that wasn't enough, she made me this most precious card saying thinking of you. Um, I think it was, I'd not been very well and struggling and um, so she's made this. This is embossed and all these little bits individually stuck on. Isn't that beautiful? Um, I'm not, I won't read it inside. There's nothing um, oh, it, there's nothing actually, it just says Dear Lucy, hope they arrive safe and sound happy colouring and P.S. that she made the card and it's even got a little bit on the inside, isn't that beautiful? So um, that card is going up with my others on my little notice board it's getting a bit full so, um, but that, I always keep them they're so precious, things like that so I'll put that there, now you'll have to excuse me if I I can't tell you who's brought them because I'm pretty certain that people have been on my wish list and brought things together but Amazon package them separately or they arrive separately and that you only ever get one gift card so I really apologize if um, I miss um, somebody that has that's happened to so um, let me just move these precious beauties out of the way now <laughs> Let's do let's do little bits and bobs, shall we first? So you all know my love of my let's come right in because this is really teeny tiny. You all know the love of my little moon stamp, which is absolutely incredible and I use it all the time. Well, I went on Amazon and I found these. Look at them. So it's got all the stages of the moon. What's it called? Wooden stamp moon is all it says by Lychee and um, they are not as good as this one I have to say they're a bit smaller um, but I did stamp them out on something but the problem I did find with these if I can get it out let me open this bit I just push it through the problem I found was these is this edge shows up so I might have to trim that down with a um, craft knife or get a responsible adult to trim it down for me with a craft knife knife since as I'm not because that just that edge seemed to show up now whether I put too much ink on it or what or I could stamp it let's try actually let me get um, this is the one I use for my moon which is by Spectrum Noir let's try I've got a baby wipe let's get a piece of scrap paper and let's stamp it and try so if I pop it in there and then we get my baby wipe and just take that off let me just try this I hadn't even thought of this until I was talking to you guys so I'm a bit stupid like that <laughs> and let's try let's see what it's like ready oh, okay maybe I didn't get enough ink on it so let's try again just clean the edge off let's try 
Oh, that's quite cool. There you go. So that's my error. So they are quite cool. Can you see on this rubbishy piece of paper? But yeah, they are quite good. So if you're going to get them, I will try and link them down below. I think they were $9.99 for all of them. Um, but different moon phases, and that's brilliant. Um, so let me put them back in shot. So oh, my silly hands. Put them back in shot so you can see them all. Um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that actually. So I just have to not be so dim and think of these things beforehand. But it wasn't until I was talking to you that I thought, well, wipe that edge off. So yeah, so they are actually really lovely, and they've got the different phases of the moon. So awesome! They'll be they will be appearing a lot. This little stamp has um, that my lovely friend um, Nikki brought me. Um, we've used that loads, so no doubt these will. And the fact that that you know you've got the little ones will help in smaller images. So that that's awesome. I was so excited about those. So that was um, Spectrum Noir metallic pigment that I used. But you could stamp it with um, distress inks or uh, other inks. And talking of that. This little stamp arrived. It had been on my wish list for a while. And if I can, excuse the rustle, I can open it. Now I love these stamps because my, you know, my hands are quite clumsy. They don't um, often work properly. Um, and these are awesome. Now this arrived separate. So again, I'm not sure. And I really apologise if you've sent this to me. Please let me know because um, I do like to thank people personally. Let's try. So we've got a little bumblebee stamp. He looks quite cool, doesn't he? There we go. Let's, let's load him up. Right, ready? Oh, look at that! This <laughs> is so exciting! Oh, look! Oh, that's amazing! Oh, I will try and link this little little bumblebee down below because um, there are so many pages where we have um, honeycombs and things like that. And I just thought this would be lovely, like for Joanna Basford books. And he's turned out so cool. So I've got some black pigment ink, which I'll show you. Um, the same, but... So... This is um, Finesse by Spectrum Noir and it's an alcohol proof dye so it will not run. So if you want to use it with um, other mediums like water and things it's not going to run. So I've got that to go with my little stamps so that if we want black instead of just the platinum I can, I can do that. But of course you can also use your um, distress inks. Talking of distress inks, oh yes, Mr. Holtz did it again. Tim Holtz have brought us a beautiful new colour. Now this is called Salt Water Taffy, and um, that's what it looks like. Bright orange, but you wait and see. Let me find you my little swatch book. This is Ruby Charms Big Book of Colour Charts. And let me get to the ink page. It's very messy, my ink page. But look at that gorgeous colour. Isn't that incredible? So I number mine and then I number my um, little tools that I use for them so that I can use the same ones. Don't have to keep throwing things away. But that has to be one of my all-time favourite colours. It is the most beautiful pinchy, pinchy peak. <laughs> Peachy pink. It's lovely. So if you um, are into your distress inks and enjoy them, that's the new one, Saltwater Taffy, and I can see me using that loads. Sunsets, flowers, all sorts. I love it. So that was Saltwater Taffy. What a name as well. Okay. <clears throat> and then, I know Alison... I know Alison sent me this because I got the gift, gift voucher with it, but if you've seen me using the Distress Inks, I had these two ink blending mats. It's going to be very difficult to show you because they are clear. So inside you get, I don't know if I've got my little one here. Yeah. 
to get a tiny one like this and I like kind of smush the ink down on that and then I can use my blending tool or a paintbrush and in this are two they are literally like thick acetate so if you wanted um, I'll hold them here because it's going to freak the camera out if you wanted to sort of do blending techniques like this you can but you could also use acetate or a tile or something else but these are really cool I also use the big one which is an A4 size to stick in behind um, colouring pages to stop any indentation and that was from Alison so Alison thank you so much I'm not sure if Alison sent this at the same time but they came separate so I'm not sure I do apologise if, if you did Alison okay then I haven't written the name in the front yet but I will do I always do now this arrived from Lynn let me come out and it's the cutest book by Deborah Muller and she says on her gift note I saw this and thought of you and um, she said I, she had to get it so it's the mad pa Ma oh, that's me today the mad tea party coloring book by Deborah Muller and if you look it's got the most brilliant pages in, in it and then these most lovely quotes on the other side. If you are don't know, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. But there was a really lovely one, um, and the book is just beautiful. There was a really lovely quote in here that really stood out to me. Yeah, I think it might have been this one. No, not that one. But um, they're just the cutest images so I can go with my um, beautiful Alice collection um, and I've now got quite a few with thanks to Kevin and um, yeah this is impossible only if you believe it is there's some really lovely quotes come on join the party look at our hat so um, it is Amazon print but it's nice it's not you know feels nice paper yeah just absolutely beautiful images how do you run from what's inside your head <laughs> that's what it says it's very true um, everything's got a moral if you can find it I love this one curiosity often leads to trouble well doesn't it just and uh, yeah, I love this. I love her hair and the look on her face. It's a very, very cool book. So I will be writing Lynn's name in the front. Thank you so much, Lynn. It's lovely. It's a gorgeous book. I do love it. Uh, and for thinking of me, it's so sweet. All you guys know that I love my Alice and all the fairy tale type stories, you know, those whimsical ones that take us back to our childhoods. Okay, so that was from Lynn. And then this arrived. And I'm, again, I'm at a loss because there was nothing in the book. So again, I'm, I'm apologising because Amazon have packaged everything separately. I don't know if they came from the same person or what. But this is Whimsy Girls Around the World Colouring Book by our wonderful Hannah Lynn. Um, this is a new book, I do believe. Yeah. Oh, no, 2021. So not a new book. She's got a new book. She's got a grayscale one, which I'm itching to get my little mitts on. But these are gorgeous, gorgeous images. Two of each. One more detailed than the other. Sorry for making you dizzy. Love this one. Look at that. Paris. Look at the look on her face. She's a very sophisticated lady having lunch or breakfast. Aren't they gorgeous images? You've probably seen these, this book around. But um, I loved it and popped it on my wish list for payday. And one of you lovelies purchased it for me. So thank you so much, whoever it was. And I, like I say, I do apologise. I wish if somebody sends you gifts, they package it or at least put 
the gift note in each box so I know who it's from. But aren't they beautiful? The women are... Look at his face. <laughs> the women are lovely. And you've got to love a little bit of Hanalyn, haven't you? Single-sided. It is Amazon print paper, but let's not hold that against it with art like this in it. A oh, lovely Canadian lady. I love her plaid. Aren't they beautiful? So, yeah, you've probably all seen that before. I'm just looking in the back to see if... Oh, there's special thanks. I wondered if she'd listed countries. I mean, we've probably guessed most of them, but I wondered if she'd listed them at all. Oh, I like Miss USA. Look at her. She's lovely. Aren't they gorgeous? Sorry, I'm getting carried away and still looking. Oh, look at her dress. Wow, I loved it. Just fell in love with it. So, thank you so, so much. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I can't thank you by name. Like I say, it, it, it drives me mad, this whole Amazon business. Okay, then, because I've had such lovely support through PayPal, um, from certain people, from a few people um, that I've been able to purchase a few colouring books and this was pre-ordered ages and ages ago but the um, the support from PayPal um, has meant that I can get a couple of very exciting things. So this is Nature Mandalas by Melopanini Chats. I can't say a surname so I'm not even going any further. <laughs> Melopanini Chats. Um, and this is her new book. This is the follow-up to Circle of Life. And you will have seen a flip through, I'm sure. The paper is the Curbster paper, Kirby Roseanne's type paper. But the difference with this book is the images are single-sided. So you could use your markers if you wanted to. The images are beautiful, tiny and very intricate, as we're used to now with Melopanini. Um, but I love it, nevertheless. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, so, yeah. Now, I all pre-ordered this, and originally, it had said that this was going to come out the same day as Kirby. And I was so excited when I saw people on YouTube showing Kirby's new book. Um, is it Mythical? I can't remember what it's called. Um, I pre-ordered it ages ago, and I was so excited when people in the UK said, Oh, we've got it from the works. Well, no, I couldn't get it just sucks. <laughs> I'm desperate to get my hands on it. Isn't that a cool image? You could do that in um, day and night or like spring and win uh, summer and winter, whatever. It's just such a cool, well, you've got flowers so it'd be difficult, but you know what I mean? Opposing colours. But yeah, such a beautiful book. Look at that. Just really lovely. And I'm not sure that I'd like quarter it off. I would probably pick a colour palette and do the whole thing so it was all sort of harmonious. Yeah, just gorgeous. Look at those. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Quite similar to the first book, to be, if I'm honest. Um... And obviously the book is the same thickness and the same size as the first one. But obviously we're not going to get as many pictures because it's single-sided. How many do you get, does it tell us? Uh, 45 mandala-inspired designs to colour. So, yeah, very intricate but very beautiful. Oh, little bumblebee. Mm. My little stamp. <laughs> could stamp him on <laughs> yeah just just very beautiful so that's nature Ma mandalas um, illustrated by Melopanini chats that's as much as I can do and then I was watching uh, the lovely Connie again you're such a bad influence Connie and um, she was coloring in this book by oh my goodness 
now before I can show you I'm going to have to get it up because I can't remember the artist's name and it doesn't come with a front cover so bear with me while I waffle I will continue to do a quid of a one-handed flip while I get it up apologies folks here we go I got it so this is a PDF that I got and this is all thanks to the lovely Connie and her beautiful colouring um, she's CB's colouring um, if you didn't know um, I'll put a link down below to her um, this is called Funny Tales by Kevin Theo Art and I will put a link down below to his you, his Etsy store um, and it is the most incredible <laughs> incredible fairy tale funny fairy tale images I mean look at this one from Alice look at Alice I mean she's just <laughs> you'd be terrified wouldn't you isn't that awesome so his his take on well-known popular um, fairy tales and I just adored it as soon as I saw Connie with it I was like oh no I have to have it so the support because I've now gone part-time at work and obviously money's tight for everyone now but the support through PayPal has meant that I can get these things so I love him look at him Pinocchio isn't he stunning isn't he stunning so absolutely gorgeous uh, an incredible book so that is funny tales by kevin teo art sorry t-e-o art um i think he's french maybe because it says page de colorage um and you don't get a front cover unfortunately it just came like that but wow what a book okay and then Ta -da! Mystic Art Mirrors. Now, <coughs> my apologies, folks. I couldn't afford the actual copy of um, Candy and Cream, the new book by Mystic Art Mirrors. I couldn't afford the actual original copy. So, I went and brought a few bits and pieces to uh, make my own so I've brought a little hole punch I'll show you in a minute and some spirals and then I've printed it on my precious card stock and, and a little bit of backing card this is acetate <laughs> so the images in this are to die for absolutely to die for and I can't wait to put some colour on these I mean look at that Uh, and when I say delicious artwork, they really are. I mean, look, don't colour this when you're thinking about being, that you might even be slightly hungry. Yeah. Colouring is supposed to take my mind off food. This isn't going to help, but I, oh, do you know what? I just, I'm absolutely in awe of her work. Isn't it incredible? So just flip through quickly. She has got the proper book on her uh, website. I think there's going to be some postcards I did see on Instagram. So this is a colouring book, um, Candy and Cream by the wonderful Mystic Art Mirrors. And I've just sort of made it myself. So I will show you what, how I did it. I brought this little device this teeny tiny little device it wasn't cheap um, I'm just getting the, I'm just getting out the other bit it wasn't cheap it was 30 pounds I think but this is a six hole punch can you see in there so basically you if you've got an A4 sheet and you want to punch all the way up the side you push this little thing up here and that's your page guide put your paper in hang on a minute my hands aren't going to work I'm going to make it look like it doesn't work now and it does there we go you put your paper in where you want it to go and line it up with a little hole and punch 
and then you go to the second hole away from so in that one second hole away from the that one slide it back in punch again so you can have as many perforations as you want upside of your book isn't that cool so it was £30, it's nothing's going to go wrong with it, no electrics, teeny tiny, because I did look at a binding machine in that, but they are quite bulky and they take up a lot of space, whereas this little fella, easy to empty, easy to use, and even with that gap there, I found if you pop that one out, put that, that one in again, you get a perfect end to your page. It's so cool. I'm so impressed with it. It does take time, obviously, because it won't... I think it took two of my big sheets, my thick sheets of card. Um, but I would much rather that and nothing go wrong with it and be able to use it time and time and time again than um, a great big bulk, bulky machine that's taking up a lot of space in your office. So I brought that and then I got... Um, some heavy duty clear acetate sheets, um, 240 microns, so they're quite thick, and it says for covers and crafts. Um, and where did I put the book here? So here is the cover. Oh, gosh, it really is thick. It's got a slight blue tinge to it, but I'm not fussed. It was just for the front and back cover. So that was that. And then I just went and got. Um, a pack of, does it say what, um, yeah, 210 GSM card, rainbow colours. So I've got 50 sheets in there. I'll obviously pick the pink one for, to go on the back of my book. And um, yeah, so I then, well, how am I going to bind this all? So I was looking and looking and looking, and I got two sets actually. These are the ones that I used for, um the book that you've just seen, the candy and cream, and you literally just wind it on, just wind it on, and then I took a pair of my cheapo pliers when I was doing jewellery making and just bent the end in to stop it coming out. And, um, so they're the ones that are in this book, which are quite, are quite a bigger one, but they're one inch ones, and then I've just bent the end over as you can see and that's going nowhere and then um, this, they come in a box of a hundred and if I can get it open how have I managed to do that? Okay. and then some tinier ones for thinner colouring books for thinner PDFs so I plan now because I've got Jane F Hankins I've got um, some more Mystic Art Mirrors um, I plan on actually turning them into books so that they can be put on a shelf and because I find in a folder, in a file, they kind of just get missed. They kind of just get missed and um, not used so much. I like to be able to look at my bookshelf and think, oh yeah, I've got that, I want to have a colour in that. So that is beautiful gift. No, it's not. Actually, hang on, wait now. Goodness sake, Lucy, something I was desperate to show you. Now, a while ago on Kay's channel, I watched her do a review on these beautiful crayons. I've never really thought much of it. I just thought, well, they, you know, they look nice. The colouring looked beautiful, as, as always, in them. But they were on Amazon for £7. And I thought, I wonder if they would help me with backgrounds and days when my hands are sore and things. So I've actually taken them out of the box, as you can see, and just put them in a little pencil case. And these are the colours. Oh, oh, don't, don't, don't. They're clay-based crayons, so not wax. Sorry about jumbling them up. You have to be quite careful with them. I don't want to break them. Only just, they only arrived today. So you've got a really nice array of colours. We've got blue, we've got a black, oranges. And we've even got, we've got a white and a skin tone colour. Which, let me show you on this on our trusty scrap piece of paper they are smooth and beautiful you can deepen the colour up lessen it off look at that 
for a skin tone colour. And I've been playing, I'll show you. I've been playing and pencil works over the top. So these are perfect for doing like a base colour. So I've got a Practice Seasons book from when I fluffed up and we were doing a colour along. Um, so this is Seasons by Hannah Carlson. This is what I practice in. And this is what I've been doing with the Bambino crayons. Ignore the bottom bit of that, that was me testing pencil over the top and pencil works beautifully. I've tried, um, there's a little bit of Doe Drawing Pencils, Colour Soft and oh that was that was yeah dough went drawing I tried and colour soft pencils and they just work like a dream over the top but can you see the blend in there they blend so beautifully and any shine you can see is pencil here but they are incredible and I'm so impressed with them um, and I wish I'd have got them a long time ago so if you've got them I was wondering about us doing a colour along with them there's only 24 colours, but um, for the longest time I've wanted to do a book in limited colours. So I was wondering about using these in one of our books. And obviously we'll get colour pencils to match them. And then not having to worry about a million colours. And the greens, I did manage... Hang on. I don't know if, I can sh I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on camera. This green here, as opposed to this side, that's just the natural colours and how they blended. And then this one, if you can, I don't know if you can see, but I did darken up the green by mixing the colours. So we can make new colours. So I will be using my um, Pastello, no, not Pastello, Castle Art chart that we got with the pastel pencils, which shows you how to mix colours. And I've got a colour wheel. So we know that certain colours can make other colours and darken colours and that kind of thing. So yeah, so let me know what you think. Do you, have you got them? I'm in love with them. They are smooth, they blend properly. What I would like to say is if the creators of these Bambino colours, which I think they're from Poland, that's the, the name, please make 150 colours or more. <laughs> We would love that. We would really love that. These were seven pounds. They are not like colouring with Crayola, I can tell you. They are instant colour payoff. Let me pick this blue and show you. So this is um, this is the dark blue. They don't have colour names. No, this is they don't have colour names. But I mean, look, you don't get that with a Crayola. And listen to that. that beautiful sound and then they layer up and you can lessen the pressure and just get this beautiful smooth look and get different tones so I've got all those different tones out of that one pencil can you see gorgeous gorgeous gorgeousness so that is my little haul which I am absolutely thrilled to bits with everything that I've been gifted and everything that I've been able to buy through the kindness and love of people. Um, so I want to bring them all these bits and bobs to the channel. So I've shown you how to use the little hole punch, <laughs> the little windy things you just wind in, they're so cool. Yeah, I'm so excited. So, oh and I've missed one little thing, how could I? Oh. My lovely friend Lauren sent me the Deco Art Glamour Dust and this is ultra fine glitter paint. You've seen me use the Faux Cart. I have tested this by unscrewing the top. And let me just cover up the gift note. I did it on her gift note. This is the most gorgeousness. Look at it. Oh, look at that. And the thing I like about this, uh, these are acrylic, so um, if you've used a watercolour and then you paint it over the top or something that's likely to move, this will seal it so it's not going to come off. But look at the shimmer, oh, absolutely gorgeous. Well, let me show you. So this is ultra fine glitter paint and when you open it, she did put a post on our Facebook group saying that she was like, just pop that, 
horrified because when it was dark grey. Can you see in there? But it honestly it goes on dark grey and then dries that beautiful shimmery colour. So you get it's like stickles but without the surface, if that makes sense. So you don't get the bumps, it's just all you can feel is the glitter. <coughs> and that I'm so sorry, Lauren. I'm sat here with my gift note. And that was from the lovely Lauren. Thank you so much, sweetheart. That was so kind of you. I love it. You know how much I use all this glittery, glamoury stuff now. So, that was my little colouring haul. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and stuck with my like usual insane ramblings and coughing. <laughs> Let me know if, you wa if we should try a colour along with the Bambino crayons. We could try that. We could do that in Hannah Carlson's Seasons or something like that. Um, and yeah, and thanks to the wonderful Connie for again influencing me into buying another beautiful book. So I'll try and link as many of the things as I can find down below. All the little stamps and gizmos and the distress ink and colouring. Oh, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> Be sat here for hours, but I will try, my lovely friends. Okay, so I'm hoping to be back really shortly with a colour along and we've got Eerie's new book, we've got um, the uh, Melopanini Chats book um, and then of course we've got, I would like to try Seasons and do the Bambino crayons with you but it's up to you, let me know what you think and I'll see what your response is and, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, my beautiful friends, thank you so much for watching. And if you're still here with me, thank you so much. So until we meet again in the next few days with your decision, take really good care of yourselves, my friends. Night, night.